All right. How to, how to prep, how to draw the conduits here? How? We go to systems. Then first make sure you are in electrical, okay? Under electrical. So go to conduit over here. We have conduit. Click there. Then we need it for instance this is the panel the electrical panel location is here so from this panel if you want to rotate anywhere else just try to start from here click here move it here and here now in this part it shows us one single line only so over here this one is the bend so how do you if you want it into 3d view where do you change the uh, setting over here in this view control bar make it fine so once you make it fine it will become like this this is the conduit if you make realistic over here realistic to change this way if you make it consistent colors anything same so now again for conduit we need to go to conduit setting again you see by default if I click in this conduits by default it start like from 27 around 2750 like that it start here because I'll go to this setting electrical it's under electrical this arrow drop down click there okay here it is so conduit we go to conduit setting here sizes Yeah, sizes from here same like last time we saw it for sample right from here we can change the size of the conduit from here now how many type of conduit we have EMT IMC RNC and so on so from here we don't have 25 mm conduit I want to draw 25 mm conduit let's say if I want to select this all conduit first hover your mouse to the conduit then press tab once to select every joint conduit will be selected once click there so this is 53 mm diameter just i will change it into 25 mm press ok all right so again i will draw conduit i need to make it 25 mm here it's already there 25 why in the first class we changed it already right but if i change it here another type of conduit click here uh, 40 I'll choose this one RNC 40 then 25 mm I don't have here it's only 27 mm so I can draw the conduit of 20 25 sorry 25 mm you see when I try to change the size into 25 mm we, we couldn't change it because by default it's coming 27 mm again I selected there and in this diameter I will change it 25 mm it's not coming so most people are suffering because of this so to fix this one it's very simple just we go there first select the conduit and try to find out what kind of family it is the name this one is rigid and metallic conduit RNC 40 so we go to the setting the electrical setting <coughs> size we come here RNC 40 select here here we don't have 25 mm it's only 27 so new size I will add 25 mm inside diameter I will make it 24 outside diameter 25 minimum bend In, now you know the minimum bend when we bend the conduit if you you are the one who's going to order here if you need 45 if the consultant ask you to draw minimum bending should be 45 45 degrees so you need to make it here the minimum 45 if you didn't set 45 here so anytime you draw the conduits it will become same as the default 162.75 so I'll make it from here bend 45 only for this conduit then okay okay now I'll click the conduit I will press tab select all then choose from here 25 mm again conduit from here now 
before I draw, I can choose from here the size 25 mm. I'll start here, I'll bend it here. Now look the difference between this and this one is the existing one, this one is new one. So here it gives us 45 mm minimum. So <clears throat> by clicking here, you can increase the diameter as long as it's more than 45, no problem. If I gave it 35, what will happen? The message will give us use the minimum bend radius. So to find the minimum bend radius, we need to go to setting. Okay, this way you will draw the conduit first. Second, again, press up, I'll delete. I'll straight this conduit over here. I'll remove this part. I don't need it. So if I make from here one split, it will give me a coupler. Now, go to modify, <coughs> split. If you want to put a coupler every 10 meter or any, if you need any critical place, you can split it here. Split. Again, I'll split in this area. In this area. You see? So anytime you make split, it gives you a coupler view. All right. <clears throat> there is another way also to draw the conduit. I'll create here system. We have parallel conduit, another type, parallel conduit. I'll click to this parallel conduit. Most of the time, the parallel conduit is helping us for uh, infrastructure stuff. Even for this, it will help because if you have many conduits parallel to run, you can choose this parallel conduit. Otherwise, or if you have like duct bank, we have duct bank. So from infrastructure, we have big size, 100 mm size of pipes need to come. So both of them, the conduits have two layers, up and down. Now, this one is, let's say, eight, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now, here, when we create, when we click that, uh, this one parallel conduit, we have horizontal number and vertical number. So we need to fill it here, the number. See, let's say, let me see. I don't know if you can see it. Let's say if we can see this one, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So for horizontal, the counting will start from here, one, two, three, four, five. In horizontal, if I make it four, which means one, two, three, four. In vertical way, if I make it two, it will start counting one, then second one will come this way. So, which means if we have four here, or let's call it 10, if I make the vertical two, which means two multiply by this. So this one, it will copy it here, copy paste. Again, I'll give it here now horizontal. Mm, I'll give it three, but vertical one. So if it is vertical one, which means we don't have any vertical down. It, because the one is starting from this part, from the beginning. So I'll create it with one first. Now look, you see, it will create in this indication, in this line, reference line. Second, I need to give it offset, the horizontal offset, the distance between one conduit to another conduit, I'll give it 150, for instance. The vertical, we don't have, so I can leave it as it is. Now look, it's getting nearest, right? I'll click here. I'll click here. So that's it. From here, I can trim. Trim is very important. It helps us for a lot of things. Trim and trim. So let's see the section view now. I'll create a section view from this quick access control bar over here. You see, sometimes if these things, when you create section, it will disappear, right? It will go very far. So you don't know where to trace it, you'll zoom out and find it. So just click this section indicator and here, far clip offset, you see it's 59, 19. Make it 2000 un until you see it, click 2000, then select it, it's coming here so that you can adjust it easily. If you need it far, the view range, you can make it far. So now, 
I will check the, the view make it fine this one here we go you see this is the con wizard I created so the vertical is three one two three so di the shortcut for dimension from here to here ah, I need reference line is 150 so in each but when we give it offset most of the time it's calculated from center point you need to keep it in your mind so from center to center is 150 again I will go to, uh, I will create another more parallel conduit same thing 150 again vertically I'll give it 150 also I need to create vertical 3 which means 1 2 3 till add 7 1 I'll just click here it's same as offset okay from up we can only see three piece right just move it back over here go to view here we go so this way you can create the conduits if it is big size just select all of them and change it from here like 78 now look it looks like for duct one right big or for power for medium voltage or something you can put this kind of conduit parallel instead of drawing it one by one <clears throat> all right now until here we are okay so I need to connect one of the conduits for instance I need to bring it from this electrical panel I want to connect it here so most of the time when you do your job put section everywhere because it's very helpful by drawing section and by checking in 3d view you can accomplish your uh, what, you, uh, what you want to do here so first I'll select the panel when I select the panel you see we have three dots one two three so we can draw the conduits from three phase so from here to here here so I'll right click in this part then draw conduit from face click there so this preview will appear this preview is the panel is in this area here from which one you want to start this is the conduit or conduit okay just select the conduit then you can move it to the right or to the left One moment. Draw on this from face. Should be moved. It's not shown in my computer, but here, when you draw from the face, it will show you the panel of each weight. Maybe I will start it from the front view. So I'm seeing another panel also hidden inside, you see, because that one is coming from linked by, you can hide that one from private link, post by, model, uh, make it custom this, in this model make it custom, then electrical equipment, hide it, okay, now from here make right click, Draw conduit from face. This is the face over here. Let's make it finish because I should move it easily, but I don't know why it's not working here. Now, just click there, then move it up the conduit until you reach the slab level. Click in here, then press escape. I will stretch a little bit. So this is a slab, these two lines are the slab, if you want to 
the conduit to run through this way just right click and draw conduit go to the left then move it a little up okay if this is okay no problem then check the level of this first 36 35 60 just copy the level because the other conduit will give it the same level offset i'll go again to the plan view which one you want to connect if, if, it, if this is the one the conduit or now if this is the one yeah just click there and give it the size 35 60 so when you change it here the level 35 60 look this part it's not changing because why you see here we have separation but if the conduit is joined together and if you give it for this part only 35 60 all of them will all joint elements will go up or so all right the other one go high let's go to view what is this one first let me check 2743 2743 I'll give it this one 2743 then we can see together 2743 let's trace this one okay so bring the conduit here this part but now our conduit is running to the right side so bring this conduit just move it over here so this both of them are same level then you can trim them trim from here to here then it will connect to see the 3d just Select all of them, make this one is section box or shortcut you can press BX in your keyboard, then it will show you. Again, make it fine. So this would be the the routing over here. You see again, it shows me here two lines. Why? Because the other one is linked fine. So if you have view template, simply like what we did for this color, it will remove it immediately. Let's say for the section view, I have already, right? Mm. Apply. Apply view template. Make it all. Electrical section view. From here, I will remove it. Then every time it will not bother me. Link Revit here. Now, Link Revit here is inside the template so that once I change it anytime when I use this template immediately to remove the linked file the equipment from here I will go custom model again custom from here electrical equipment remove this is only for the linked file apply ok then apply ok ok here we go moves so if you do any section view if you do anything to use this template automatically those electrical equipment which is linked file will go okay all right cable tray to create the cable tray is same things also now here we will create one cable tray you go to system again and cable tray see in this part we have we can choose the weights we can choose the height and offset so once I draw the cable tray from this part 300 I will draw it 300 by 100 or 300 by 75 the standard I'll, I'll create it from here I'll come this way to the electrical room then I'll go here from here you see here I can't click it why it shows me like forbidden symbol because every time when we bend it has its own fitting so the fitting itself it needs little gap from here to here 
that's why we cannot create but if you move it a little bit okay it's possible from here then i'll move it here then if you want to go down now our current level is 2743 so i want to make it by 1000 down first click in this offset 1000 then this apply click it three times so i will click apply 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 so that it will go down now this mark orange is which means it's not correct because when it bend it needs also gap i need to move it a little bit so again from here draw cable tray i'll move it i'll give it a little more gap then in section view you can push it back again so from here again 1000 apply 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 see it go down so let's see it in the section view I click this section view, this one is flipped, so I can see the other side, over here, go to view, okay, so consistent color, here we go, it comes from this level, the cable tray, then it go down here, so now you can move it to the left side, just select only the vertical one, then move it, move it until you receive any message like this yellow box, which means we have in this area, press escape, we have, you see this one? Because here, we have fittings. From here, we cannot continue. Plus, because the bend over here is 300, if you want to make it 45 and check it, it's possible, we can make it 45. In your material semitar, if you have 45, you can change it 45. Then move it back again still have a place this way you can draw the cable tray but don't forget when you go down don't uh, you need to press three times apply 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 then it will go down all right second things and this fitting the fitting routing is different also again if i want to go to the right side just check this fitting or let me draw one cable tray here Twenty-seven, I'll copy this cable train to multiple times. Multiple. All right, <clears throat> we have multiple fittings in cable tray. Now, if your computer is new, when you install it, now if you make trim between this to this, the vertical and the horizontal cable tray, the, the fitting doesn't give you. For this computer, I already have, most of you have. So I'll click here, it gives me the fitting by default. But how this fitting is coming, that's what I need to show you now. I'll click the, the cable tray to see that, edit type, it's all of them are mentioned here but if you didn't adjust it here or uh, organize it here so that anytime you trim the vertical is horizontal it doesn't give you this kind of bend second I'll create another also trim this one this one and let me see first this one is bent second one I'll click here see if I click in this fitting I have two plus symbol so that I can click on this plus symbol, then I can continue to draw one, another cable tray. The third one is, again, I'll click in here, I'll click this plus symbol. So if you have another additional, right click, right click in this dot, and you can draw. Or if you want same height, same cable tray to draw, there is another way also. R click in this cable tray, then right click, create similar. If you make it clear, create similar, it will give you same size, same width, same height, and same offset. So create similar and zoom in, come to this dot. You see it's all from center point. The justification, click in this part, then you can continue. Second, the third one, again, I'll click this fitting, 
you have another plus symbol click on this plus symbol there we go from here also you can draw and the other one one two three okay and we have another type also we have reducer now i'll copy this here again i'll copy this uh, cable tray one more okay <clears throat> this one i'll make it bigger 450 but this one is 300 by 75 i'll go here and click it it gives me a reducer this reducer if you didn't make it the setup over there it will not come now the third part I'll, to create cable tray the shortcut is ct then click from here it gives you ah it's already done here okay yeah the other part reducer you see this one we have this kind of reducer why this kind of reducer name is here M channel reducer the reason why it gives us this type because this one is from center to center the connection from center to center where the justification is from center to center but I don't want that one I need uh, I'll align this one this one okay this one I'll make it 400 50 I want this one this line the bottom to align it with this we have another type of reducer right come straight then it bends it go align i'll align it this line with this line first then bring it here and, and touch the line undo again i'll come in clicking here it's not giving me what i need now to do that there is another way sometimes it comes sometimes it's not coming just change the justification now i'll click here and i'll click the other cable tray have a look here the justification is center if we have vertical also is middle which means center so change that one into right or left side if i make it to the left for instance look now i'll click this part you see this dot where it's coming down the left side before it was center so that shows us center any connection will be connected to the center but now i make it to the left all right and again this one also I make it to the left now if i move it, this one with this it will connect left with left side so it will give us this kind of connection which means if you need the reducer part in this area maybe you will have ducting from here it turns out so it's clashing so to avoid the clash you need to change the reducer by changing this way you can fix it, the problem and the last one to do this uh, setting first we need to know the names of this fitting i'll select this fitting horizontal bend so this vertical and horizontal when you draw horizontal you need to choose horizontal bend and here what is this M channel horizontal T so when you have any connection with T shape so it will give you that one so how do you load that I will show you that first select the, the, the cable tray edit type here let's read it first horizontal bend for horizontal bend choose M channel horizontal bend standard it, it, sometimes the title will guide you what to choose the fitting name for vertical inside bend choose vertical inside bend standard for vertical outside also also if it is t horizontal t 300 mm radius so if i click this uh, if i make it down it shows you 300 600 900 1200 so most of the time let's choose the minimum radius so that we can increase 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 so 300 now if you don't have the family or if you didn't load the family you can't see it on this list or if you make this down arrow you cannot see it anything everything will become none 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 so if it is none you cannot connect those horizontal with vertical when you trim it it will tell you you don't have the right fitting to make this connection so you know where to find the 
families and fittings right we go to insert then load, fam load family then it's already coming so from here we go to cable tray then fittings those are the fittings select all of them then click load or click open then it will load to your project once it's loaded that time when you select the cable tray and go to edit type you will see it here maybe you will see none but check this down arrow just click that drop down then you will see it here all the list this way you can create the cable trays okay and last one last option maybe the engineers will ask you i need the cable tray it's coming from long way okay so I, he will tell you this routing system this cable tray i need it same like that three steps you know what i mean first at 1000 second one 800 the third one the other level how do you do that now for this kind of things there is a way first uh, you will make duct i mean cable tray from here i'll make a line so uh, from scratch this one it takes time the second one just select them make them as a group you remember you we'll make them as a group first group it give it a name ct1 okay then create a section i already have a section i will move i'll move this section over here copy go to view so this is the group file just copy it from here by 500 or something you can you can use this method also so that all but before you copy or before you make grouping just hover your mouse to the cable tray and make sure you select all the cable tray routing by pressing tab sometimes if you don't have uh, if it's not joined each other just select it by pressing ctrl add it there this way we can do it the second the third part is just select all of them copy with clipboard over here you see copy to clipboard click that then again now our current level is what offset 2743 so paste here and align to current view if you make it align to current view it will show you like this which is overlapping right so give it the offset here uh 1800 then click in the free space it's gone let's check it now i'll bring my section view look my section is here right don't follow this line because some people are thinking we already select from here to this line but it shows as a whole cable tray because this is the view range over here if you stretch here it doesn't matter if this 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 line is here or not you can move it up also most of the time this is the range so right click in here go to view and let's check here this is a cable tray other cable tray also same things so <clears throat> this way you can copy paste even though if you want to copy and paste from one model to another model one floor now here in lighting we have this cable tray so if you want to put it in this power ground floor same thing just select those cable trays for anything not only for cable tray just select this one copy with clipboard like copy paste one to another copy with clipboard then come to this ground floor power it's already shown different let's say h back system now in h back before you paste it you need to make vv cable tray to and cable tray fitting you need to make it visible okay apply okay hide it <coughs> modify paste align to current view see it's coming here the reason why it's uh, it gives me this message because we already have cable trains that area but for different in different location or for different works if you have something else to add here from the previous work then you can copy it that way